If you're like us, you can't wait to get your hands on Starfield. And if you're identical to us, you'll have paid the extra pennies to get the early access to Bethesda's space venture. That's right. On the eve of September 1st, 2023, Bethesda unveils the much-anticipated early access version for those select voyagers who've claimed their virtual boarding passes. Bethesda just keeps providing the Ws and in a recent blog gave out a handy guide to the exact release times across the world. If you've splashed out on the Premium Edition, Premium Edition Upgrade, or the illustrious Constellation Edition, then come September 1st, you'll be free really bold to go where no one has ever been before. Wait, that's the wrong franchise. Anyway, standard edition astronauts, your countdown begins on September 6th. But for the early access, exactly when can you access the game? For folks operating on Eastern and Pacific Earth Standard Time, your engines ignite at precisely 5pm PT or 8pm ET on August 31st. Or, in the language of GMT, that's 1am BST or 10am AEST on September 1st. It's expected there will be a Steam preload available on August 30th and Xbox owners may need to check their downloads as Starfield News on X is already reporting a huge 15 gigabyte patch on Xbox. I don't mind that. It means Bethesda is still testing and making sure everything will run smoothly on launch day, so props to them. Now, for those wondering about the innards of your PC, in fairness to spacecraft in its own right, let's dive into the techie intricacies. Starfield is going to be just as massive as GG Recon is, so you'll need to make sure that you've got the right kit to run this space beast. The minimum requirements are as follows. Your OS needs to be at least Windows 10. Your processor needs to be an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 or an Intel Core i7. You need at least 16 gigs of RAM. And then when we come to graphics, it's got to be a Radeon RX 5700 or an NVIDIA GeForce 1070 Ti. Your DirectX needs to be updated to version 12 and you'll need at least 125 gigabytes of storage. Todd Howard, the Starfield architect himself, confided that while we may be in the dark about exact PC performance metrics, the game will cruise at 4K and 30 FPS on Xbox Series X and then it'll run on 1440p at 30 FPS on Xbox Series S. This frame rate cap is a conscious design aimed at navigating the labyrinth corridors of gaming consistency. So, there you have it, Cosmic Wanderers. Buckle up because the boundaries of virtual space are nearly upon us. And another question you may have is whether the game is multiplayer or not. So while you're here, go check out this video where we let you know.